it's a quiet beginning it's time for a great night gonna turn up the volume now i don't know why it got so quiet hello beautiful people welcome to great night well, that brings you the best of the worst of the internet as always my co-host mike tv how are as you always. sir Good. I'm, I am very excellent. Yourself? Good. Uh, hot day. We got some news. Yeah, man. So apparently uh, there is a new human being on the planet Earth, I heard. Uh, <laughs> yes. It's happy birthday time for Bella Aurora Young. Woo-hoo! Heck yeah. All right. Here, I'm going to see if I can give a call. Uh, call Justin Young. <laughs> All right. He's uh, uh, he wasn't able to get discharged in time to come out and join us. Yeah. I... <laughs> and then he does. He blows us off. Yeah. <laughs> uh, everybody noticed that it's B A Y. That's great. Uh, Justin. Are you, <laughs> Justin, are you, are you with the baby? I am with the baby. <laughs> so, so, so tell us how it all went. Well, nine months ago, I busted it. <laughs> there's been a lot of things that I don't really understand that's happened since then. And then Ashley had a belly. We kept it a secret, and then we told you on the show, and then my mom no-sold me on the intro, but you started crying, and then other months happened, and then um, the other day, we went to the hospital, and actually gave birth to a baby. (laughs) So, (laughs) what was it like? Well, nine months ago, we were, we were fucking. No, so, no, like, goddamn. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So. Uh, uh, no, it was, it was amazing. So the, 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 the short, short, short version is we um, had planned on Monday to go into ROB and, like, get a procedure that would uh, expedite things, with the idea being that we would probably – uh, have all this happen before the due date of the 31st, Labor Day. And uh, we didn't make it to Monday. <laughs> I mean, like, <laughs> technically, we made it to Monday, but only by the hair of our chinny chin chin. So uh, Sunday morning, and I mean like early, early morning, like 2 o'clock in the morning, Ashley starts feeling contractions. And, you know, normally in this process for folks who haven't gone through it, you know, labor is kind of a catch-all term, uh, but it is like the beginning of the body getting into the 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 this you know mode that will eject the baby, and that usually can last like days, if not like up to a week. Like where like symptoms will kind of come and go, and and then eventually you kind of kick into gear and it's rocking and rolling. Not Ashley. Ashley um, started feeling early onset signs of labor at like two in the morning and by one in the morning less than 24 hours later we had a baby it was just like non-stop and so we it was like really really intense we went into the hospital just to kind of see where she was at without getting into all the like specifics of how you tell how far along you are in the pregnancy It, it involves people literally measuring your wife's cervix with fingers and um like they kept us mostly because once um, there was a monitor on Ashley's contractions and the baby's heartbeat, uh, they were like, eh, it's just better to keep you here. She uh, got an epidural after 12 hours of the uh, contractions, which for those of you who've gone through this, she was at 511 contractions, which is uh, – Every five minutes, your contractions are at least one minute long, and that happens for an hour. She had been doing that since, like, 4 o'clock in the morning, and we got to the hospital at, like, noon. 
uh, we got admitted at one where she finally got an epidural. And normally, yeah, it was a triage. And then normally that'll slow things down, but it did not with Ashley. <laughs> she was just blissfully not feeling them in the same way that she was. And her body was just ejecting this child <laughs> at a ferocious pace. It, like, and, a, like a uh, Mel Brooks movie. Just, <laughs> just you know, pa-chow! It was like, you know, uh, uh, in, in, in the very, very early parts of this process, Ashley was talking to some of her family, and, and they were like, well, you know, like, the, the women of our family that, have, that, that came from Europe had the reputation for being baby factories. And I got to say, having been through the entire process, five stars on Amazon. <laughs> yeah, it did what it said on the 10. Uh, uh, you know, easy, uh, easy setup. Uh, <laughs> quick, <laughs> quick, quick uh, uh, ejection. Uh, uh, I can't, can't recommend it high enough. But uh, yeah, then all of a sudden, one o'clock, you know, her active labor, which is what you see in the movies when it's what I think most I'll say men like kind of think labor is, is just like the woman pushing and screaming and stuff like that. Like yeah. you see in TV, like uh, that literally lasted 10 minutes. Oh, wow. Like she was it was yeah. four pushes and boom uh, at 120 a uh, little baby. Bella Young Paramore. Uh, Bella uh, Aurora. Uh, uh, can, can, can I can I tell a story about the <laughs> about the name? Uh, or, or you or do you want to tell it? <laughs> well, let's let's let let let's, let's hold it for a different day. Okay, There's, all uh, right. Not not because I don't want to embarrass myself, but uh, uh, let's let's let's, <laughs> okay. let's let's leave it leave it for another day. All right. Uh, uh, but but uh, uh, in 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 the broad strokes, I didn't know how to spell my own daughter's name. That's a, <laughs> that's the punchline. <laughs> Um, and so, uh, yeah, no, she, she came out. She's a little, uh, on the light side. She is only, uh, five pounds. She was five pounds, three ounces at birth. And she's probably a little bigger now. Um, but we, uh, you know, considering it was, it was a long day. Ashley had been up since two. I'd been up since four to go into it. There was no period for, sleep throughout all of it so we were absolutely beat by the time that she showed up and then we get to uh they they move us from one room to a postpartum room which for anybody who's not gone through this it's kind of like a really intense dorm where the ras are making really really sure that you're doing your homework yeah <laughs> and um uh, so we're here we we thought we had an outside chance at getting discharged today um but for uh for reasons that i will talk about at a later date because i don't want people to come in here uh while i while i was sleep deprived have notes uh uh it uh, looks like we will leave tomorrow and um you know so far uh little baby bella is uh very happy very healthy she is uh eaten like a champ and uh she is, uh, she's very, very sweet. That's amazing. Hey, everybody, clap for Justin. Hey. Uh, but yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's, that's the story, man. It, it was, it came on really, really fast and it just kind of escalated at a rapid pace. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, since, since then, uh, you know, the big, the big goal has just been basically getting her, um, getting her kind of uh, uh, kickstarted in terms of the nutrition thing because she was a little underweight. Yeah, dude, that's amazing, man. What what a what a moment. What and and uh, how uh, <laughs> how by how many minutes did World's Greatest Con beat Bella Aurora's arrival? I literally published it in the delivery room. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I asked the nurse when she came in what the Wi-Fi was because my phone wasn't uploading it fast enough. <laughs> And uh, and got the um, got the episode out into the world. Q ships available uh, from <laughs> World's Greatest Con right now. And uh, yeah, that's that. Okay, uh, uh, now we have we have a nurse turnover. All so right, I'm, gonna, right. I'm gonna let you go. All bye. Right, bye. Oh man, how great is that, man? That is just nuts, man. That is so awesome, and 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 it's so great. Like 
you know, I, I've heard so many horror stories about first babies and long and long labors and like, you know, and, and the, so that it's so amazing. She Ashley's like, I'm, I'm here about business. I'm going to do my business and I'm going to get out. And that's, uh, yeah, that, that's just, that's so She's all about the business, the business of giving you the business and business yeah. is good. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, hey, Mike, how have you been, man? I've been excellent, man. I've been really, really well. Um, yeah, you know, we're 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 showing up in the, here in the fourth quarter. I'm I'm leaning into Gets It Goes 27th album, and so uh, yeah. So wow, sorry, 27th thing. album. 27. Yeah. So so I do have to say, uh, at January of last year, January of 2023, Gets It Go had 20 records in stores, and I'm working on Gets It Goes 27th album because I've decided. I, I can swear on this on the show, right? I, no, I, I'm sorry, the, the show for, formerly known as NSFW, <laughs> that ironically had to stay yeah. SFW. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so yeah, fuck it. Uh, yeah, I, I just yeah, I'm just uh, I'm having a good time, man. It's uh, yeah, it's, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah, it's been awesome. It's been fun. Uh, so uh, 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 what, uh, what what's going on in the world? Oh, 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 so, okay, so for, I know, I know a handful of folks follow me and what I do and my folks and my people, but uh, Isabella just got her EAD stuff so she can actually officially work in the United States. Okay, ex explain. It's Yay! been three years. What it's are we been... clapping for? What's the EAD? It's, it's, so, so it, it's, it's the Employment Authorization Documentation, oh, EAD. Oh, okay, so I thought, I thought it was like a teaching certificate no, or something. No, no, <laughs> so it means she can work in the United States. So, uh, so we don't have to live on some poor working class musician's income <laughs> nonstop forever and always. Yes. Yeah, no. Yeah. So, so that's great. And, and she's, and she's really scared to like enter, like walk in, enter the working world here in the United States. However, she's so talented and she's got, she's got a, she's got a dual master's degree. So, oh no, she got a master's degree with, but with, uh, with an emphasis on two different things, but, but, uh, yeah. So yeah. And legal alien. That's exactly right. She's now a legal alien. That and that's that, does that make awesome. you a, a xenophile? Yes, it does. Finally. <laughs> yes. I finally get to add a, an appellation that, that involves a, a, an X that's, I just wanted that. Yeah. Xenophile. Um, no, yeah. So, so that's, that's been really, really good. Um, and, and we're going to now ex start exploring all that. And I think I, I do want to walk across the street cause we live right across from St. Ed's and I want to walk into their, their uh, language department and be like, Hey, do you guys like to have an Italian French thing happening? Cause if you do, there's somebody that lives right across the street. That's, that can really help you out, whatever you need, you know? So we'll see. Yeah, dude. Uh, well, so, uh, uh, what's something that you're really, uh, oh wait, uh, no, you already explained the EAD. I guess that's yeah. it. <laughs> yes, I did. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wife. Yeah. No. Yeah. That's. Uh, yeah. That. That's probably not going to happen. Man, I wish. I wish I had more going on. I. I've been in like boring. Like, there's a side gig that I'm trying to pick up. So it's like. No. Boring yeah. No. But, and, and you're. But you're not talking about that just. Yet. Okay, yeah. Yeah. No. Okay. No, okay. Yeah. Yet, no. Yeah. Yet. Well, it. It, yeah. it sound, It does sound pretty darn exciting to me. And so I'm. I'm. Ex I'll be excited to when we can talk about that in, at length. Because. Uh, yeah. It definitely. It definitely seems like. Uh, it's something that you. The, the skills you've acquired over the past 20 years uh, lend themselves very handily to, you know. And so, yeah. yeah. Uh, El Condor Pasa 69 in the chat says you did a great job of the world's greatest con. Freaking uh, all credit to Justin. I, I, uh, I mean, I, I, I don't know. I guess I did say the words and perform. Uh, but that was a fun one. I don't, I don't know if you listened to the Q-Ships episode. Not, not yet. Not yet. No, I, I, I'm, I'm planning on it, but, uh, it came out a couple of days ago and I've been pretty busy these past couple of days. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> it is, I... it is in my, it is in my, uh, in my, my podcasting listening queue. Uh, okay. Uh, look, I'm, I'm going to ask you what's, what's in your craw in a second, but meanwhile, Nathan, what about you? What's, uh, what's life treating you like? Oh, 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 you should have a microphone on. I should have a mic. There you go. So life's treating me pretty well. I just started uh, the next semester. I'm doing uh, a cybersecurity track now, so a lot of programming as well as just a bunch of hardcore nerd computer shit. Um, I did get very bored one day and decided, hey, bye, Windows. Uh, hello, Linux. I did this a few years back and felt like, hey, may as well try again uh, just to see what it's like. And, yeah, I'm doing that. I'm also – is, is it good or is it just – is it is it like – Putting on a costume and, and, and pretending to be somebody else? <laughs> uh, we'll get to that in a little bit. Oh, um, God. 
But um, actually, should we just jump in? We got we got a game. I mean, I, I, we we can jump into it. How, how many? Because if you're watching live, Nathan is all done up. That's why I couldn't wait to toss to him. He's got uh, he's got the bow tie and the suit on because. Uh, 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 what I I just thought that 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 was now his new style. Like he's like he's like now here I am. I'm now the tech for the show. This is my new look. This is this is a oh so this is actually so it is a, a Doctor Who some predicated kind of something. Uh no. So tonight's game is called Chat Realm Feud, an old classic that was brought back. Woo! Uh, wow. Uh, I, hold on, hold on, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Before we do any of this, we have to remind people. That they need to go to patreon.com. That's patreon.com, P A T R E O N.com slash great night. Support the show, get bonus episodes every single week. Uh, the bones that's really good, patreon.com slash great night. Awesome. Uh, but yes, uh, I decided when making this game, I could not do it just as simply wearing a button up shirt and my usual wear. So I figure I may as well go in and get a little uh, nice and well dressed. Uh, so here we are. Uh, all right, Brian, uh, please head on over to the board. We have uh, four questions. Wait, we Where's the board? Uh, go ahead and check vMix. Uh, you will see uh, camera left. Camera left? Stage left? Stage left. This, okay, there we go. Okay. Oh, my God. You, wow. You're doing this all remotely? What are you doing? How are you doing this? Okay, so it took me like 30 minutes figuring everything out, but I took down one of the cameras, hijacked the HDMI to get in, and— Got it. So uh, now you are the left, uh, the, the stage left camera. I okay. Am. All right. Got it. All right, so, all right, so we got Brian and Mike at zero, and so uh, uh, remind us of the rules. So the rules are uh, you will be guessing uh, what people in chat realm answer to particular survey questions. Uh, we will go back and forth in the beginning round to figure out who is going to take the first round. Whoever scores the first correct answer at the highest level will take the round. You get three tries to get everything right. Uh, if you miss, someone can steal your points. It's so and this, so we are we are this is all chat realm based. This is their perspective on these different topics. Correct. Okay. Um, use that to your advantage or disadvantage. Yeah. Who knows? All right. hmm. cool. Okie doke. All right. All right. Take it away. For our first question, what donut is the most fuckable? All right. We will go Brian and Mike. Whoever can get the first right answer takes the round. Jelly. Jelly. Uh, I'm just gonna say the the classic the classic. Uh, um, the the classic donut like with the the glazed the glazed yeah the, the regular glazed donut all right uh mike you take it first as glazed is the second most answer ding, right ding. now with jelly being the fourth all right ding ding all right so is, by the way we got nine answers on the board we have to remember the audio listeners so, so yes. we got nine on the board so okay so uh so i, I guess play goes to you mike you are you want to you want to play or pass that's how would it you goes. like to pass or would you like so to play? Oh, so and so and we're, we're, we're so i'm trying to target number one um you're trying to target now as many of those as you can okay, get all right okay okay oh, right so, and okay, then oh, i get a oh, chance oh, like yeah, oh, yeah, you, you no, have sure. to clear you have to sweep the board and then and then i get to steal if i get now now there's nine different answers and usually everyone wants to play yep. but the smart move is usually to pass because uh, uh, you'll hit a blind spot and uh, and run out of answers. Well, I do. I do think that I do think that that there's one that I would wouldn't mind fucking, which would be a bear claw. A bear claw. A bear claw. So he is playing, and yes, bear claw is on the board at a three. Specialty. Okay, I guess that counts. <laughs> ding. Okay, all right, all right. Oh, don't worry. There is a ding going to the audio listeners. It's just uh, not okay. piping through the board. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. No, all the sounds are going right through. Oh, okay. All right. I guess I won't say that. <laughs> yeah, you're all good. I mean, you can say ding. I'm okay, not going to okay. stop you. All right, uh, Mike. What oh. else can you get? Oh, I keep going. This is your whole board until yeah, you run that, out of distance. That's, oh, that's that's oh. the problem with playing is that you have to you have to sweep all of them. Oh. And see, that's that's also the reason that uh, on the show they have an entire family is because an entire family has a lot of ideas, whereas you have only you. Okay, okay. So can I? Can I? Can oh I, no, never mind. I it's uh, Brian. Please do dings. Uh, it's apparently not going through. Ding. Oh wait, never mind. My mic is muted. My bad. Continue. Can I, can I ask a question? How uh, how this was sourced? Like sure thing. Were, yeah, were, yeah, chat were, realm. Was yeah, no, but, but was but was chat realm? Did was chat realm like like discussing these things? Because I, I no, knew they, they were intentionally surveyed. Okay. So, oh, so so it was, it was a survey that was sent out. They responded th that those answers were aggregated. Okay. Uh, okay. On Saturday, I sent out the survey. Uh, it was a Google Forms. You were asked uh, these four questions. You were allowed to give me two answers per question, and that is how everything was sourced. I spent today making sure everything was categorized correctly. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Um, <laughs> this is gonna. 
I'm gonna. Uh, uh, what's the one? What's the crumbly one with the with the not chocolate or yes chocolate? Um, oh, it's not crumbly, but it's it's the misshapen one. The misshapen it, one. It's it's, it's 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 circular. It's got a hole in the middle, but it's got all of the. It's. Cr- uh, I, I know. I know. It, it's. Uh, oh man. What's it called? Um, it's 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 like is it like an old timey? It's an is it an old? It's an it's a. <laughs> an old timey? Is it like an old timey or like an old? Is it? An oh, I, I know what fashion? you're thinking of. Yeah, should I help? Is it, you? Old, I'll is help it old fashion? You. You're, you're thinking of a funnel cake. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh well, no, but no, no, no. <laughs> is, so Five. yeah, they're, they're, people are saying the old fashioned. I, yeah, I think I think it's called an old fashioned. But I think yeah, those are those are my favorite. Those those were old so. fashioned, Mike. They have you a get whole... another point on the board. Whoa! Yes. All right. All right. Uh, five left to go. If you can take it, you get all of the points here. Oh, uh, I'm going to pass on this. Wait a minute. He no. doesn't have to keep on going? Oh, no. You got to keep going. Oh, do I have to? Oh, I, oh, You're I in the trenches now. I can't pass. Okay. You got five to go. I've got, oh, oh, and then when I miss one. You miss one, you get three it, misses before. Yeah, oh, you, get, okay. you get an X, and then you get so, three Xs. Uh, <laughs> welcome, welcome to Old People Remember so, Family, yeah, okay, family so, Feud. Yeah, okay. So then what about like a maple bar? A maple bar? Yeah, I wouldn't mind fucking a maple bar. That'd be pretty. Cool. That'd be pretty good. Ooh, a maple bar. I'm trying to see if that was sourced. Uh, unfortunately, I can't give this one to you. So you get your first. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Um. Oh wow. This this has got all the, all the effects. Oh, and and I go till three X's. You go till three X's. Okay. Um. Uh. So not maple. Bar. I'm, I'm I'm thinking about like donuts. I've and I I they probably don't have voodoo donut stuff. Uh, I would count Voodoo as specialty, which is already on the board. Yeah. So, yeah okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, um, all right. Let me think. What are whether like oh, what about like donut holes? Donut is that, holes? Is yeah. Is that that qualifies as a donut? Doesn't it? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> donut holes, but unfortunately, Mike, that yeah, is another right, X. Okay. All right. That's okay. Um, and then and then uh, one away, and Brian can steal. I'm, I'm now showing. And, and, how... and by the way, Brian is ready to steal. Brian <laughs> oh, yeah, is totally I bet, ready to I steal. I bet you are. Um, uh, uh, okay, what? So what? Like, what are fuckable donuts? <laughs> I don't. I like. Like, I, I don't really recall that many donuts that I look. I don't recall any donuts I looked at. I was like, man, I would fuck the shit out of that thing. Um, uh, let us do a um, curses. Um, it it would be like a cream filled something. Is there a cream filled donut? Yeah. Is there, are there cream filled donuts? Uh, Mike, you just got the top answer of a cream filled yeah. donut. Yeah. <laughs> Four more to go. It. What is the most yes. fuckable? Yeah. Of course, it's got to be the cream filled. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I see. Um, oh, this is this is your big chance now. Okay, cream. Here, in fact, here, oh, here, here, there you go. All right, so I got I got cream filled donut, glazed donut. Okay, so uh, so it's, uh, this is this is definitely this is definitely people um, glazed. So the, this is all this is all sex stuff, cream filled, glazed jelly. Uh, uh, so, is is there such thing as a is a cum injected donut? Because <laughs> <'cause laughs> so that's probably number three. Uh, if you can give me a term for the donut you're thinking of, uh, oh, I can God. run it against the board. We'll see. Um. Uh, like, is there an ice, an icing donut, or an ice, like, like the donuts with icing, like the sprinkles, the sprinkles donut with the icing? So, are you answering icing sprinkles? What are you answering? Uh, I'll, do, I'll, do, I'll, do, I'll do, I'll do icing. I'll do ice. Oh, no, I'll do sprinkles to start because I know, I know that there are sprinkles donuts. Yeah. On the board, Mike TV. We have. A sprinkle donut. All right. Yes. You got Good. three to go. Got sprinkled. All right. So, uh, what about what about the uh, the chocolate cover? No, no, no. And then can I, can we do like is there an, an icing donut? Can I can I do an a, an I? It's not glazed. It's got icing on it, right? Those those that's an, that's a different thing than just glazed, right? Is that your answer? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Give an yeah. answer. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, Mike TV. God. Your damn. run ends here. God Brian, damn. you have a chance to steal the board. Well, I got the top two. That's all right. That's, yo, 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 feel- yo, yo. Let's. <laughs> all right, all right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, cinnamon on stage six. Unfortunately, Brian, <laughs> that is an X. Oh no. What? <laughs> all right. Our remaining donuts points going to Mike TV are 
and eclair slash long john. Oh my god, I never would have known to say eclair. A chocolate donut. I wait, you never yeah. oh, I could have didn't say it. You know what's funny is it was cinnamon and 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 when he said icing and uh, I almost yeah. went with chocolate, but I yeah. went with cinnamon. And finally, fruit flavor of any capacity. Oh my god, you know, fruit I wouldn't have flavored. Fruit flavor. I would have never ever in my the only, the only thing that I know that's fruit flavored are like are like the uh are is bubble gum and uh <laughs> and like and like hard candies like hard like like fruit it's fruit flavored like that's it like that's strawberry it. apple peach yeah, yeah. that's that's kind of where that ah, bucket got fell it. Uh, i see i see yep, okay yep. all right on to our yeah, next yeah. question all right yeah all right ready ready yeah uh we have seven on the board what is the most inappropriate thing to forget when going to a funeral your brian pants. mike hmm? your pants mike uh, the name of the deceased. Brian gets the first with pants. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I pass. <laughs> <You> pass. <laughs> All pass. right. Damn it. <laughs> Mike, back to you. Okay. Uh, so I can't go with the name of the, dece the deceased. Is that your answer? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because that, that's, that is the, literally the most inappropriate thing. I promise you to forget if if, if you guys the body. Oh, body. The, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, that's, yeah. Oh, oh the, actually, forget the body on the way. Okay. Oh, that's right, oh, right. actually, oh, yeah. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. All right, say it. one, two, three, four, five left on the board. Inappropriate, and that's and that that definitely looks like a like like a communist spelling of inappropriate. But uh, the the most communist inappropriate thing to forget <laughs> when going to a funeral. Um. Uh. Oh, can I? And I'm only saying this from personal experience, but can I say cocaine? To forget the cocaine? Yeah, yeah, you know, like yeah, you're like, I've been to some pretty. No, no, I'm, I'm just, I'm just joking. No, no, I, but I have, I've been to some pretty terrible funerals. Um, where I, I was like, God damn, it would be so much better. If so there's, much more improved. Just put that little bit of cocaine. Yeah, yeah, just, just a little. Bit. No, um, uh. Most inappropriate things to forget. Uh, 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 the so the body we got the, we got the body we got we got the person's name. What what about um what about uh um the or we got pants. Um, inappropriate thing to forget. Uh, I have no, I have the the fa like like. Family member, like, like, like invitations. <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah, I want to help. I want to help, but I can't. I'll, I'll say. Um, uh, uh, I will give you a one-time opportunity it's the to other, call other a lifeline. The other, the other F word. The other F word. Um, fungibles. Oh yes, yeah, yeah. No, Things. <laughs> Come on, fungibles. <laughs> It's really? Great. I got it. Yeah. I really? Got it. Yeah. No, fungibles. No. Yeah. Yeah. Fungibles. Okay. fungibles? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Five left. Two more answers before this goes to Brian. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, God, I, I have no idea. Um, things forget when uh, going to a funeral. Just quick. Just, say, just quick. Th just picture a funeral. Say something that you see. Picture a funeral, say something you see. Yeah, the casket. There you go. That's a thing that's at a funeral. The casket. Yeah. Unfortunately, Mike. Okay. Oh, right. there's two X's. Okay, all what right, else? What right. else do you see? What else do you see? Um, the, the, uh, um, a shovel. A <laughs> shovel? <laughs> that's not bad. <laughs> that's not bad. Yeah, I wish yeah. I could Pretty give good. it to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, you're, Mike, that is three. You're screwed if you forget a shovel. Brian, uh, your opportunity right, to this steal. This time I am going to steal. Flowers! Flowers on the board. Okay. We got yeah. manners. Manners? Closest thing I can give it to you. Okay. Uh, wait. Yeah. Uh, forget your manners? Doing something nice for the... People who just had someone die? Oh, okay, yeah, I guess that, that, that would count. Yeah, flowers. Yeah. Okay, all right. Uh, what else? What else? Uh, then I guess what, reveal the others. All right. I'm going to add your points. All right. Next up, we've got proper wait, wait. attire. A proper attire. Wait, pants Isn't and pants proper and, uh, attire? Uh -huh. Pants was voted so many times that I had to separate it out. Huh. Okay. All right. Next up, information about the deceased. Fine. Okay. And having sex with X, Y, or Z. Wait, to forget having sex with someone? 
you have sex with someone because you forget X, Y, Z. I've seen widows. I saw a body. I saw literally every name under the sun in our survey okay. for having sex with. So I just threw Got it in it. a bucket. You forget having sex with blank. Got yep. it. With with the per with uh, the so deceased X, y, or X, Y, Z just means like something. Having sex I'm... with something. Okay, that's Some, well, something if that's, or someone. If that's inappropriate, I'm forgetting that all the time. Because <laughs> that, that is well, like, like I am a perpetual state of inappropriate. Because yeah, some of, like yeah, that's okay. And yeah. last up, we've got showing up. You forget to show oh, up. Oh yeah, all right, yeah, that, that works. I, I get that. Nah, yeah. nah, nah, nah. All right, okay. all right, all right. On to question three. What is the weirdest place you can find yourself waking up from a hangover? Ten answers on the board. Brian, Mike, church. Oh, okay. We've got church. Um, and uh, your parents' bed. Your parents' bed. Mike, you got the top answer of someone else's oh. bed. Oh. Uh, Mike, would you like to play or would you like to pass? I'm going to pass. Oh, you fucker. Yes. Yes. I've, okay. I've learned, I learned how this, this game is played. It took me three rounds, okay. but I figured it out. All right. So um, <laughs> the, uh, uh, this is uh, – so, so, so uh, church wasn't even on there? Um, we go with the top most answer. Okay. I'll say church. I'll say church. church. All right, do, 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 do. gathering this real fast. I feel like it. Yeah, we'll count it. A social gathering. Yep. Okay. All right. Uh. 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 On TV. On TV. Brian. <clears throat> nope. Wow. Uh, that is a weird place. I do. I do have to admit place, that is a pretty right? weird place. Yeah. Uh. 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 On. on uh, waking up from a hangover. Uh. On the roof? On the roof? Okay. You get your house. Yeah, uh, wait. Uh, a weird it's place the closest thing I can give you. Okay, all right. I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> I mean, there are 10 answers I have to manufacture you after all. You have 10 all. answers to get through. I'll be merciful here. Oh, my gosh. Uh, 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 <laughs> I'm, I'm going to take from the chat room. I'm going to take on Elisa's. Uh, the dentist's chair. Ooh, the dentist's chair. <laughs> Unfortunately, that is your second uh, incorrect. Uh, All right. Uh, then I guess finally I'll go with. Um, oh, uh, weirdest place you can find yourself waking up from a hangover. Uh, I guess uh, uh, on on the street. On the street. Yeah, okay, I can work with that. You get governmental building slash public property. Oh my gosh! Yeah, yeah. All right, public property. Yeah, that's definitely yep, pro yeah, public that's property. True. Okay, okay. Uh, waking like up from a hangover. Uh, oh, in a dumpster. In a dumpster. In an enclosed space. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. Because I, I, I was also thinking coffin. Uh, the um, uh, what about um, uh, on a boat? On a boat. Ooh. Brian. Uh oh. Unfortunately. Yeah. You've got oh, your no. third. Mike so TV. Mike has a chance to steal. You have a okay. chance to steal 207 points. Hey, you got five. You got five left. So, okay. So what's the Actually, weird... he just has to get one. Uh, yeah, no, weird... no, no. You got five options. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Five swings. What's the weirdest place you can find yourself waking up from a hangover? I'd say inside someone else. Oh, my God. Inside someone else? Yes. Like, like, like you're fucking. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. You wake up and you're like, oh, shit. That's right. We're fucking. I... Ooh. I'm really drunk. Mike TV, although I'd love to give this guys, to you. No really? guys. Oh. Chat room. Chat room. Come right, on, guys. All right. You need to get out more, is what I'm saying. You need We've to get got... out more and get drunk way more often. <laughs> We've got another country slash state. Okay. We've yeah. got a another store. Another country. A store or a restaurant. A field. I almost said that. Jail. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's... A simulation. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Brian is up to three hundred three. Mike TV at seventy five for the final round. We've got what is the best item to use in bribing a cop out of a ticket? Oh, they, they oh, already oh. put. Oh, I already <laughs> see two of them. All right. You know what? Don't, donuts and uh, get out of jail free card. <laughs> Scam stuff. <laughs> We're going to leave these up. That is my bad. These don't count. Oh, dang okay. it. Right. Sorry. God, God. They'll count towards points, though. My uh, bad. The best item to use when bribing a cop money. Oh, all right. Money from Brian. Mike. Um, uh, tickets to uh, Hamilton. <laughs> Ooh, tickets <laughs> to Hamilton. Tickets to Hamilton. <laughs> My highest point answer here is money. Brian, you are up. 
Would uh, you like to play or pass? Pass. <laughs> Mike TV, back to you. God damn it. Like, right. This is, this is right. the problem with it being chat realm right. feud. Yeah. It's like, like, yeah. It's yeah. like yeah. common yeah. sense is not making it. No, okay, no. So, yeah, I'd, so I, I'd, say, I'd say ammunition. 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 Okay. All right. Mike TV, we got weapons. Oh, my God. Yes, Good job. Yeah. Hey, man. Hey. I see. I see you. You've got just a six shooter there, and I think you could you could upgrade to this Uzi. <laughs> to this beautiful. All right, so uh, let's see. Uh, what uh, uh, um, cup of coffee? Cup of coffee. Ooh, I I love this. I love this because I, when I would watch Family Feud. I'd lose my mind. I'm like, because like, why are you so dumb? That's the stupidest <laughs> answer ever. And now I can do it. I'm like, oh yeah, this, of course, it makes perfect sense. Yeah, yeah. Here you go, cup of coffee. <laughs> well, I love to bring this feeling back. Coffee is not on the board. Oh, God boo! God damn it! I'm trying, but it has to be things you can actually right, that's bribe. You, you got one strike. You got one strike. Um, only I've only got one strike. Okay, yeah, I want to uh, put the pressure on. Yeah. So, what about if we were to do, um, um. Hello, officer. I've got. Uh, oh, yeah. Just what about uh, some sort of sexual exchange? You know, a like, a, like, a, like a BJ. <laughs> like a BJ. A BJ. That's pretty good. We've yeah. got sex. Yes. All right. Yes. Awesome. Great. Um, all right. Let's see. Um, we only have then, five to go. And then what about what about a beer? A beer. Oh, a beer. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You I can work. You want to beer for me? I can work with that. Oh, illicit yes, yeah, 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 it is, yeah. it is, yeah, yeah, in the car, yeah, that's illicit, yeah. Um, all right, let's see. Um, what about uh, a family member? Offer them your child? Offer them a family <laughs> member? <laughs> oh, my God. I got a nice baby here. <laughs> I think that, yeah, that's, that's got to be, that's got to be one, right? Oh, no, oh. come on! One more yeah, before be, Brian can steal. Remember, it could be—it could have been your wife. It could have been if, if Brian could could be your steal. grandmother. <laughs> All right. Um, so this is now you, Brian. This is for you. You're just no, it's you. It's oh, you. Oh, it's you, you, you got—you got, you got one more X. You got one more okay. X. All right. Um, and you have five answers left on the, the board. Best, Four answers the best left on the board. Item to use. Number two is still out there. Yeah, I know, and that's. Uh, uh, the get out of jail free card is awesome because that's uh, that's actually a, a Brian Brushwood reference, which is great. But um, um, I would say, uh, uh, what about uh, Malort? <laughs> yes. Malort. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, you're, yeah. That's just straight. You get straight life for that. Um, um, yeah. What about what about? Um, Curses, what about uh, the winning lottery numbers? The winning lottery numbers. Ooh, I'm trying to think if I can give this to you. Because that, that would certainly be a good, if, if, you're like, if you're like, officer, this is a $10 million winning lottery <laughs> number ticket. And you're like, sir, yeah. that is a napkin with the ballpoint <laughs> pen. <laughs> I really want to give it to you, Mike. But unfortunately, no, that's okay. I cannot. <laughs> Brian, oh, no. you have a chance to steal. <laughs> the number two most popular answer, what is the best item to use when bribing a cop out of a ticket? Um, weed? No, no, wait. It's illicit substance. Yeah. Um, uh, I don't know. Now I'm that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I know, yeah. I, I want to say like say, yeah. gold Kruger ends. <laughs> <laughs> but, although, <laughs> although I, if I was a cop, right, I'd definitely be bribed by gold Kruger ends. So, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, best item to use when bribing a cop out of a ticket. Um, I, 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 yeah, I guess I'll go with Amish Overlord's suggestion of a joke or a magic trick. A joke oh. or a magic trick. I don't know if that's a bribe though. Give me an idea of this magic trick. Uh. Oh, I don't know. Uh, uh, what what would Brian Brush would do with a magic trick out of a ticket? Wait, eat, eat fire? <laughs> eat fire? <laughs> Unfortunately, I cannot give it to you. Mike TV, you get 172 points. Oh, my God. Bringing it a very close match oh. with Brian still on top, but let's get the rest of the answers out of the way. At number two, we've got...
boobs. Oh, all right. Well, well I guess to yeah. use. Oh, I'm not, like, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I guess yeah, yeah. I, I didn't think. I, I thought we had already burned with, with the blowjob. Yeah, with, think, yeah, with the sex and genitalia. I guess yeah, flashing right. tits right. would be would yeah. be what you do. At number uh, seven. Sci-fi fantasy item. Okay. All right, chat realm. <laughs> now you've so, gone too yeah, far. No, yeah. and, and I'm figuring it has to be both both science fiction and fantasy at the same time. So it's got to be like one of those kind of like combined universes where you've got magic and as well as like robots. Yes. At number nine. <laughs> Tickets to something. Oh, that wait, was Hamilton. You said you would have gotten that. That was Hamilton. That. Tickets to Hamilton. You would have gotten that. Oh, my God. You would have gotten that. Oh, my God. God damn it. God damn I can't it. believe it. God I, damn it. I can't believe it. <laughs> and oh, for Jesus. our final item that you could have gotten it with. In the the Uno <laughs> reverse card. <laughs> yes. Oh, and, right. then, and then then you get to arrest the officer. Oh that my god! Is, oh, you get to hold on, in. hold on, hold on. Uh, that's actually a good follow up to the get out of jail free. Yes, is, is you start with the get out of jail free, <laughs> but then but then if they're like uh, like ah, so the answer is no. What about? <laughs> 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 it's not even if I use the reverse. That's great. That's Brian, great. Mike, thank you so much for playing Chat Realm Feud. This game will be back. But tonight, Brian, you've won a prize. Oh, what? oh that's right. We're doing prizes. <laughs> All right. Coming from Harbor Freight's very own, we've got an honest to God 24 inch <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> crescent wrench. <laughs> I know they say, they always say it's 24 inches. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, you know what? I, I remember from. Uh, the uh, hacking the system show um, that we did this one segment about like we were about how rolling your clothes gives you more room in your bags or whatever. <laughs> and so it's like, uh, like not only did I fit more clothes in than you did, Jason, I also have enough room for a toaster, a blank and a comically large wrench. And it was exactly <laughs> this, awesome. this kind of comically <laughs> large wrench. <laughs> Is that, is that, does it actually work? Do you, well, yeah. you roll no, it's that's, an actual functioning. That's, that's awesome. Like, now I can open up, now I can open up, oh, you know what I could do? It's like, a, there's a water company that's pumping out all my water from my land, and uh, and then they're selling it commercially. I can go, and I, I'll show them what's what. I'll just yeah. open this up <laughs> and just let it go. They're like, they're like the only that, way. That, that's the what only, these are for. The only way they could stop that is if they had a comically large wrench. And you're <laughs> like, right. well, as a matter of fact. I, I'm continuing to, to brandish it like a <laughs> weapon over here uh 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 oh i was gonna nah, never mind i i thought i had something but then i didn't uh <laughs> chat realm you can head over to bit.ly slash na discord to join in the shenanigans and making up the next game thank you all so much for bringing this to my attention by the way i'm very happy to bring back this game and i'll see you later uh hey mike what yeah. what, whatever happened to toilet papering people's houses or sneaking out at night. I think I I've seen it still happen occasionally in my you know like like on Halloween I've seen that happen in in my neighborhood at, at times. Um, sometimes yeah I mean but yeah I think I think just the cost of toilet paper has gone up so much you know it's, it's, <laughs> it's prohibitively thanks, expensive. Joe Biden. Yeah. <laughs> thanks, thanks Joe. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, yeah no but uh, I think I, I think we could bring it back. I think we, in fact tonight after the show. You and I should go bring it back. What What are some other things that have gotten uh, like even cigarette smoking is out? Yeah, which is which that that's actually pretty awesome. Uh, like again, as a as a former smoker, yeah, I, I didn't realize how annoying it was. You know, like like I, I like and again, I was pretty sensitive, but like man, that shit travels. Like like I've got a lot of smokers in my in my building, and yeah. I walk outside, and I'm like, oh great, thank you for poisoning me, guy. This like you know. 20 yards away but even so it's still poison so um but yeah it, it's uh um cigarette smoke's definitely one um i think i think skateboarding has kind of lost a lot of its allure here in austin i haven't seen that many skateboarders well, even well they, not not for getting from point a to point b but like now they're all inside skate parks and stuff yeah right? yeah yeah no yeah sure sure but uh but yeah i don't i don't see that many street skaters skating like i i haven't seen anybody ollie up over a curb in a long time you know like that's you know, I, and, and when I first came to Austin and I was living in a different neighborhood, but even so, I still live a neighborhood adjacent, but I haven't seen anybody like I, I live right across from a, a university. Like, really, there's no kids at skateboard. I mean, I'm sure. Yeah. yeah back in the day. Yeah. Uh, 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 wait, Nathan, what's what's something that that's not around anymore? Um, hmm. Magic shops. There, there's no. 
Oh, well, there's like two in Austin, I think. That's that, that's 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 one more than there was when when I was in college. Really? Yeah, oh. I mean there there was pretty much only one uh, like a, the Great Scott and Judy company uh, up in North on Kramer Lane. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, the one currently that I would maybe consider is Territory uh, Territories right up near um oh, what's it? Um Burn it. Uh, they sell some minor illusions there. What else isn't around that's like common? One what I don't really see in like I guess it was in movies all the time, but like people actually doing things at a college campus, just like actively hanging around. Granted, I'm biased. I go to community college, but still, like people just don't do shit. You get oh, in, yeah. you leave. Ace, ACC is definitely. I, I, like I, Isabella goes to her mm. her yoga studio is right there, so I I, I walk all, around ACC all the time. And I'm and I, and you're right. I will see all these these students kind of like coming out. Like I don't see them socialize. I'm like, what is What's going on, guys? This is a college, and they—they're definitely college-age kids. I'm like, you guys do know that you're supposed to like hang out with each other and socialize and be a little community. But I, I'm just figuring they're just too cool. Like you know, like it, it just—we've hit a new wave of cool where people are like, yeah, we don't do that here. Not at school. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, we yeah, we yeah, we do that, man, but not in front of you, not in front of you, old guy. Okay, that, that's fair. I get that. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, the, uh, uh, what else is out? Uh, I guess, I guess physically going to people's houses, uh, yeah. dri driver's licenses are yeah. out. Oh my God. Yes. That's uh, a, yeah. When's uh, hacky sack coming back? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you know what? It's really funny. Hacky sack came back for me, uh, in 2000, 2002. I was, I was at Warner brothers. I just did the short stint at Warner brothers and, um, and, and I, and a buddy of mine, he he had like the original hacky sack. It wasn't a hacky sack. It was like this this thing made with like these chips and feathers. It was like it was like the original like thing that design like that people got excited like oh my god you can get these like floating things around the around, like, on your feet, and um and we did that for a while and we broke it of course because it's gonna break, um and then and then somebody's like we got a hacky sack here and so eventually we got to this point where there's like 20, 20 animators hanging out and then me. Oh yes, and we get it right here. And, yeah, and it was, and it was, it was, it ended up being a lot of fun. Well, it was uh, like, uh, and uh, we got pretty darn good. If you do it every day for like an hour a day, you do get pretty cool. I was like, well, uh, uh, do you remember the original set of rules on a hacky sack? Uh, I think like rule number four was uh, never say I'm sorry because we all know we're all trying, we're all doing yeah. our best. Yeah, 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 and, yeah of and, course. And so like we, uh, that was like our mantra in college. Where it's like, nope, nope, never say, don't say you're sorry. You're ne never say you're sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, it's funny. I, I uh, we definitely, we definitely found, we definitely would isolate one person and make them feel terrible about their hacky sacking abilities. Everybody else was totally fine, and then we just pick, we just pick. Did you really? Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, no, yeah, yeah. It, it was like there was, well, there was, there was a couple of people we didn't like that much, but they joined us, and we were like, okay, well, we'll just because uh, they were, you know, jerks, and so we were like, hey, man, oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? You missed, you missed it, really? I just sent it to you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna load over to you real quick, real, real light. Oh, you missed it, jerk. So, yeah. Uh, well, well, you, you, guys, you guys go. What else? What else? What um, else is not around? Um. Uh, uh. Uh. I will say arcade culture is actually kind of like shifted around a oh, little it's, bit. It's coming back. I it mean, is it's, coming it's back. Different. It's different now. It's it's very different. So I mean, my my resident places where I try and bum around is uh, pinballs. Usually, I like uh, pin, uh, pinball South, which is in Vita, and Central Pinballs, which I think is arguably the better one. Um, I go around there, and it's it's kind of wild just seeing the ebb and flow of it. Um, usually you can catch when like people who were doing it more frequently back when they were younger are there, but also like. If you go at the right time, you actually catch a lot of people my age, which is actually really nice to see because I fucking love arcades a lot. And it's just it, you don't talk about it all that much. Like you maybe get a reference to Cidercade, but it's, you know, eh. Yeah, the problem with Cidercade, as Mike and I found out, was that uh, they only serve cider. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, alas. Uh, um, when you order an IPA, they just kind of stare at you blankly. <laughs> wait, really? <laughs> Oof. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's... Uh, it, it, that it's it's that's a strange thing, a strange phenomenon for me, like where people don't realize, like, like don't really remember the whole arcade, like 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 because I'll go up and I'll put a quarter on top and be like, I got next game, and they'll be like, what's what are you doing, man? I'm like, wait, I'm like, wait I'm is like, that this is, is tell me this is something that actually happened? Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Actually, at Cidercade, at Cidercade, I put a quarter up on top, and the guy, the guys, the guy just looked like he just looked at me and looked at that, and then he was done playing his game, and he goes to reach for another quarter, and I'm like, dude. 
I've got a quarter up here. And he's like, so? And I'm like, that means I get, I get the next game. And he's like, what do you mean? And I was like, I'm like, you don't know arcade Kids rules today. You don't know arcade rules. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he was he was like he was maybe like in his early 20s, but I was like, what? Like, how do you not know that? How do you grow up and not know that 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 calls you? Like, this is how you call the next game. Put it right up here. So, yeah. So I, I had item killed, and it was yeah, it was fine. <laughs> uh, uh, man, I remember, uh, especially like it was all about like how long I would pick games based on how long I could make the quarter last. Yes. Like yes. Uh, uh, Street Fighter Two was uh, because that's the other thing is is you had to be good enough to beat other people. And uh, what was great is when you're good enough that that everyone like you just go on an epic run and you make your quarter last like 30, 40 minutes and you're just uh, uh, crushing and everybody just keeps lining up, subsidizing yours. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That, that's I, I actually. Uh... I did. There was not a lot of uh, of fighting games I was I was that good at, um, unfortunately, because they were usually a, they were usually fifty cents to play, um, because it was it was at the they were premium, was, like, like yeah, your, yeah, your yeah, Mortal me, Kombat's and whatnot. Yeah. So, but the thing is, but I did have I did have a few games I could play for a long time, and that was like, but it was like Defender. It was it was like some really early games, but I would but I would run across them every now and again, and I'd be like, oh. Yes, because I I, I I could put in a quarter and be like, I'll be here for like the next forty five minutes, guys. I'll catch you later, you know. And that was yeah. and that was always awesome. Like like just to be like, oh yeah, this is a, but uh I but man I I miss there is one game that I was willing to spend a lot of money on and I and I could never get very far on, which was Dragon's Lair. Like, oh. is, is like okay, I, I spent a fortune on that game and I probably got maybe six minutes into the story. Like, I, I, I just, I'm like, almost was... certain. I'm almost certain that I've told this story before, but, but I remember sitting and reading in my cousin's room, a book. It was a full paperback book that all it did was tell you room by room, what to do. Oh, God. It's like, when you begin, you're going to see, you're going to go to the right. Yeah. Then in this room, you're yes. going to see this and you're going to notice that it's about to swing down. You're going to go back forward hit sword and then blank <laughs> and then and and so like i reread that and memorized it and, and danged if i couldn't go like one full minute <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, no, yeah that was yeah no, that was and that was exactly right like like i was like and I, and I, and I, and and it was the kind of cuz it was like when it, when it first came out it was like a dollar to play and I was, and I was, I was like, oh god! And I was, D I, Nathan, do you even know what we're talking about? Yes, I do. Oh, okay. Yeah, All right. no. I mean, I, I've played Dragon's Lair. Um, my game's go-to was uh, Cubert, Tempest, and Tapper. I could go pretty long runs on I those. Did I love Cubert, and I was a big. That was that was another game that I did really really well at. God, for a Tempest long time. was amazing. Like, yeah, Tempest. <laughs> Tempest really like like that that game. It was it was super fun, but it got it got ultra hard really quick for me. Like like, like you know it it would it would it would it would scale up in, in in difficulty at a point where I'm like oh you know and yeah so uh but yeah actually if you think about like other arcade games I did well on Tron that was another one I was good at. Um, Centipede. I yeah, was and good Tr at. Tron, of course, was four different games, four yeah, different yeah. small games. Yeah, and my and my favorite one was the Light Cycles, and that was the one that I that I really excelled at, and like, and I was pretty good at like get, even deal with the three the three bikes. Like, like I had my I like I eventually found my because it's you just find your patterns, right? Like everything right. was just finding the patterns. But uh, yeah, man, god damn, that's it's so cra it's so crazy. I think I, I when I watch new video games. On like like either on the console or on my computer, or whatever. I really I will think back to like I'm like yeah man I used to play I used to play like combat on the for Atari twenty six hundred and we'd play that forever and it was like it was like, like we'd play invisible tanks with invisible walls and that was pretty awesome. I mean like we would try to figure out how to actually do that where we could own the other guy and be like I did that intentionally you know. I got God. really lucky. My dad had a functional um, twenty six hundred that we booted up and I got like some really good practice in playing. Like, classic games so i got to like kind of work my way up over time um when i was a little older i got into emulation so i would run through like the nes the snes uh dreamcast i would run through catalogs to try and like get a good handling on games just because like to me it's a lot of fucking fun and it's really cool getting to see kind of where we've come and where we've gone but yeah no arcades hold a very fucking special place in my heart amen yeah, amen. And and, and they they really. Oh, are, you know what? The, the one I haven't heard yet that I only I never loved it when I was young and at the arcades. But then when we built the main cabinet, it was the only one I cared about was uh, Robotron. Oh hey. yeah, the yeah, two joysticks. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's that's. I mean, it, it's really funny. Like that that when you got. In fact, there was a game called Space Harrier. Oh that, yeah. That that was and and and, and at in in at Disneyland. 
they had a cabinet that moved and it reminded the mo and the way the guy was positioned, the way he moved, it reminded me of Robotech, the the Invid the Invid Invasion one, the third the third series. And so I climbed into that, and the whole thing moved, and I'm like, "This is Robotech, man!" And so I, I, we would go to no, Disneyland. It, did did you? Uh, 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 what's the big Battle Mech one? Uh, they, like they had full cabinets that you could get into, and they would close the pods. Oh yeah, Battletech, Battletech. I played the Battle crap. Tech. I I played the crap out of like, that. It was like, it was like uh, five dollars yeah. no, no, a game. Yeah, yeah you, you, but it yeah, was no, amazing. Yeah, you had, you, you were in go, an actual cockpit. And for the first time in my life, because I was I was I was at Universal, I had the money to pay for it, and so I literally like like I was like. I was like a ranked player in that, like, like, like and I would walk in, I'd be like, yes, I'm here to do, and it was, and it was like, it was, but man, that game was so awesome because it was a full cockpit and you had, you had everything there and you had all your buttons. You could, that was such a fun game to, it was so, it was so cool. It was so cool. Uh, God, that's so crazy. They, they used to have a, in Pasadena, there was like a battle tech depot, you know, I, I think they were called, but, uh, uh yeah, wow. Okay, somebody else go. Wait, what's another thing that's not around? Um, virtuality. Uh, oh, wow. Uh, uh, no, no, no. Do you, no, do you remember? Do you remember those? Do you remember those brace? They're they're like the jelly bracelets or whatever they're called. Like they were those plastic. They were the plastic brace, bracelets that you could wear either as like like Madonna was used them, but we but we used to like oh yeah yeah loop they, they were they, loop them and, in and, and out and you you would you would thread them through one yeah, side yeah, through the other, another yeah, yeah. So, and, so you could like double loop them yeah 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 and then yeah. it was all about like uh, giving them to your friends yeah, and then yeah, you're like yeah. oh can I have one and you're wearing like seventy eight of them yes and you're yeah, like yeah, yeah of course yeah 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 yeah, yeah they yeah, were like uh, was... they were like tips currency you're like hey yeah. kid buy yourself something nice yeah that, that, that that's crazy that's it's so oh shit Doctor Chiron just brought up Sinistar. Do you remember Sinistar? Sinistar. They were like, no. I hunger. I live. Oh, oh my God. Remember how terrifying that voice was? Oh my God. I that is a very far back memory. Wow. Right? Um, that uh, was uh, uh, do you even uh, do you even know what we're talking about? On I know one? the name, but I never really dove into Sinistar. Yeah. That was, I, it was. It was. It had this. Um. Uh. This like. Uh. uh it was like a, a random. You, your ship. You could go anywhere. Shoot anything. Uh. There's bad guys. But then you would. But then you. It's like. Uh oh. Look out. Sinistar is. All of his pieces are coming together. And then this wicked giant like shiny metal robot face with fangs and like uh this this uh sunshine trussling or whatever around it would would just go like i hunger I, and, then, and in fact that i, I want to see if there i can are, find it there are a bunch of different games that have like audio audio oh look at this i i just the autocomplete on on this it says i typed sinistar and it says sinistar voice yes yeah <laughs> The audio um, effect from cabinets. So is no, so so so, uh, so Valkyrie needs food badly. There's there's uh, oh, that yeah, one yeah. Uh, the, intruder the alert intruder alert from Berserk. Um, there's a hand. There's a yeah. handful. Okay, a, listen. Hold yeah, on. Here we go. Listen, here we go. Yeah, this is. Uh, yeah, let's see. Uh, so crazy. Uh, God, this was terrifying. I am Sinistar. Okay, this it kind of doesn't. <laughs> 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 I built it up too much. <laughs> when I was in second grade, it was terrifying. <laughs> Uh, I don't know why it's so quiet, but here. Live. Run, run, run. Beware, coward. Run, coward. Yeah, that's that's pretty fucking. That, that's <laughs> that's pretty scary. That, that's I mean, it, we, because we also didn't deal with distorted voices. Like we didn't hear a lot of we didn't hear a lot of like distorted voices. So <laughs> so that definitely made it a little bit extra freaky as a kid as well. You know, like that. When also uh, is so loud when you're playing yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. That that's uh uh. Trying to think of other other like like that was man. I guess uh, slap bracelets. Those are kind of still around though. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The one, the, the ones that that uh, become they they become straight and you slap them on. Do they, you think they... kids still do like wet willies to each other? I don't know. It depends on where you are in like um, a grade or a school system. So I worked at a daycare for a little while, and mm -hmm. like the younger kids, um, usually kinder to about fourth, you could get away with wet willies. Afterwards, it very fast tapered off. Trapper keepers. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, Lisa Frank. Dude, that was I spent like I would, 
I would go to like Gemco. There was a place in the desert, and we'd go to the Gemco, and I and I would just do trapper keeper searches, you know. And and of course, like, and you might find one, like you'd find on like a Night Rider one, but you'd look inside, and and all the goodies weren't that great. And then you'd find, and I'd find like an A Team one. And and I'm like, oh, I got the Ziploc bag with all the with, with like the with the pencil with the pencil sharpener and the pencils and like so you'd have to like find the right trapper keeper with all the extra with all the correct components and you could continue like continue to add to it. But man, God, trapper keepers. Yeah, and then we uh, you got uh, to a high enough grade that it's like uh, like you weren't like they specifically were like you're going to use a three ring binders, and then teachers would get annoyed. They were like, no trapper yeah. keepers because they had the plastic <laughs> rings on them. Yeah, yeah. they were like garbage, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's that's I, I, and I do remember. It's funny. I do remember migrating the migrating from from traditional like uh, uh, folders to like the peachy folders like mm -hmm. like like where where I'm like I'm like okay now now I'm I'm about to be in high school and I need to grow up and so I'm moving to peachies you know and so that was like that was because I, I went from like uh like spider-man and uh you know batman uh folders to I'm like all right now I'm now I'm migrating to peachies because I'm all grown up this is me being grown up with my peachy folder with the basketball guy doing his layup <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's so crazy. Um, I guess we're we're mainly centering on like junior high, right? I guess that when we that's a big yeah. I mean, because that's because I think I think we I think we particularly you and I are of the age where we just hit a point where things just stop going away. We for a long time we were like, oh, they're gone forever. Star Wars is gone forever. Boy, we're gonna just remember it in our uh, just remember it in our dotage. And, and, and that's and when that's when know, everybody like yeah. gets, gets their Star Wars tattoos with the Rebel yeah, Alliance. Right? Yeah, and yeah. then they come back with the prequels and it's like yeah. <laughs> You know, so speaking about of Star that Wars. tattoo <laughs> You know, speaking of Star Wars, yes, uh, our lovely just another pilot sent something in. Oh wait, do we have Jart? We have some Jart. No way! <laughs> uh, uh, do you know about the Jart? No. Wait, wait, what? Okay, look, we are creating the world's largest curated library of Jar Jar Binks <laughs> arts. What? What is? It? Describe what you're looking at right there. Okay, so uh, I'm looking at Jar Jar Binks. He definitely here. Go looks, ahead and zoom in on that. See if we you, you he, can get up he, close. He, he's definitely. He definitely looks threatening. Like he definitely. He definitely looks like he is. No, he's, uh, he's doing this the, is, He's doing the. No, 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 no. That's yeah. That's that's what you would think. But this is this is him. He's he's in the process of like because Jar Jar was obviously a Sith Lord. Like he was obviously the most. Oh yeah, well, yeah. You, you know, you know that that yeah, yeah. the joke that, yeah, no, that yeah, was the no, joke. Yeah. But 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 seriously, no, no, that was no, supposed no, to no. be the bit. No, no, I know, I know, no, and, and and I do, and I do, I know, I do know that there are people that have traced it all the way through. They're like, yeah, it is undeniable. He is a Sith Lord. He's like working from behind the scenes. And well, this, no, no, and no, no, no. But, but, but but even then, that's like a conspiracy theory thing. Like uh, quite seriously. Uh, uh, I, I believe there's something on the record of the the actor of the actor be, of Ahmed Best being pulled aside by George Lucas and saying like, oh, I get so, so here's the thing when you do all your character work and everything is like sec secretly it's going to be revealed that Jar Jar Binks is is the real bad guy. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah, yeah. That's that's, that's, no, that's great. Of course, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's it's awesome. So so this is not this is not just an innocuous like neener neener neener. This is him kind of setting the stage for you know you're about to be terror. This is this thing will be terrifying in another hundred, like another 34 years. Is, <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah, don't you All worry. Right. Well, yeah. Go, go ahead and add it to the gallery behind <laughs> you there. Uh, thank you so much. Just another pilot. Uh, God damn, we're gonna have a lot of jar jars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just you wait. Oh, just you wait. Oh man. <laughs> Uh, okay. All right. Well, here, without Justin, I feel like I'm, I, I, man, I can't, I can't fly solo. Uh, well, I, not that I'm solo. You guys are all here. No, but thank, thank you very much. Oh, I guess I should play the, uh, sorry. We'll have a shorter show, but then hopefully we'll get to do the bones here pretty soon. I was going to say we made it to the hour mark. Yeah, we did. Oh, it's been you a ever hear this song, night, Mike? A uh, yeah, I, I, huh. This is really interesting. <laughs> what, this what guy's we, got a very Soder's voice. What, what did we learn this week? Yeah. Um, well, we learned. I learned that, that things really don't ever die. You know that that they that that that, that they live in our hearts forever and always. Trapper keepers, toilet paper, uh, you know, assaults on trees and people's front yards. We also learned uh, how babies are made. We did do that. We did do that. That is awesome. Um, yeah. Uh, again, congratulations to Justin Robert Young. Oh, I'm yeah, so man. so happy. 
Uh, that's really amazing. It's a uh, uh, and also special thanks to Nathan uh, for the wonderful chat round feud. Thank you, wonderful chat. And uh, I guess until then, we'll see you next Tuesday. We gotta say the, the dying of fire. Dying of fire. Shine on, you crazy diamonds. Diamond, I hope you've enjoyed this program. <laughs> survive No, there's never been a greater night A single bed, a later night A pause, the masturbation night A let's get drunk and laugh tonight There's never been a greater great night Woo! Hell yeah! Woo! I really think I should have added a third harmony to that. Oh my that. gosh. Yeah. All right. All right. Knock it off. <laughs>